everybody welcome back to Andrew Channel International I am Andrew and today we are going to play some Pathfinder and we play Pathfinder in uh, in a glorious day I would say right because uh, we have just experienced I would say witnessed uh, the, the, the fantastic defense in the last two episodes of the defender's heart so now we are going to have a quick look at the uh, at the battlefield. You can see the <laughs> you can see the body of the Minotaur, which is dragged by some Crusaders. Do you need a hand, guys? No. <laughs> All right. And I think I can I can just leave the area, accept this, and start exploring the map of the city of Canabras before trying to storm the Grey. Um, the Grey, I can't remember, Garrison, the Grey Garrison, once again. All right, so, in the Market Square we have Kill Ramian, a mission. Then we have uh, uh, another couple of missions here, you can see them. Then we have the Topaz Solution and the Tierbird Residence. So, a lot, a lot of stuff that we can take care of. Uh, we have to cross the Market Square anyways, so maybe... Uh, we can decide what to do in this episode, and I might consider going to the Silk and Thread Atelier, and then south. No one is. Oh, okay. We we found another. We found another um, mark in the map. Let's enter this location. I have no idea because I can't remember exactly what's going to happen in this location. So it's going to be a surprise for me and for you, or maybe only for myself if you already what's played that? this. All right, there are traps here, so Volif needs to go alone. Maybe, maybe we can uh, hide. There is no one here, so that's not so dangerous. Well, well, well. Oh, we see a barbarian. Only one. If he's only one, then yeah. You've Good luck to us. Okay. Let's have a look if Crimson sees someone else. No, yeah, of course we do. But Crimson alone, no way. Go back, Crimson. <laughs> Go back. We need to settle up. Okay, we can do it, right? Yeah, that's Arik's turn, so jump on Crimson, Arik. And that's it. So Volif can approach oh, this right? fighter. He's of course still hidden. Now we see the wizard and the sharpshooter. It's just a... I think it's just a regular encounter. It shouldn't take too much time. Wonderful that the archers are um, targeting Sela because she has a, a very very good um, damage reduction. Okay, let's use the ray from Nenio so that this guy will be blind and the wizard is now throwing some magic missile it's always on Sila. okay Sila will just not uh, fight defensively she will fight regularly against uh, the fighter and ember does she manage to use lumber i think so but the wizard is immune to slumber aha uh -huh, he's an elf Let's see if he's immune also to our arrows. Shit. <laughs> it didn't eat him. Okay, Crimson and Arik then uh, can definitely charge and kill him. And Volif can approach the sharpshooter and then in the next uh, round he might try to attack. Alright. Now the fighter, the blind fighter, has a concealment mischance, minus 50%, roll 45 failed, so he cannot actually attack. Then Sela can still attack. Ember can use then the slumber on him. We'll save. Then let's kill him with Lan. Come on, Lan. Come on, Lan. And Wally. Sneak attack, 15. Wonderful. Okay, as I said, that was not a difficult fight. But, but why not? Let's collect all because I... 
I have a ki kind of empty Let's move. stock and uh, we were going to sell all those weapons later. All right, it seems that we have killed. Might be trap. Uh, <laughs> I might be trap. Might be trap. That's not a treasure for sure. And here we see a stranger. Let's speak to him. Pretty good, aren't I? What are you saying? I am the answer, but what is the question? I, the guy seems confused. I would say more than epic or yeah. To me, it looks only confused. I want to check if there is any other door here. It seems that we can go inside. I didn't boost my party yet. Okay, barbarian and barbarian. Ask nicely. Watch and learn. F5. Let's try to see if I'm able to perform a sneak attack on this guy before the mess starts. Oh yes! How much? Oh ho ho! Come on, we just killed him. We killed him with the sneak attack of Olive. Isn't it wonderful? Can you charge, my dear friend? Aha! There are, there are other enemies here. So there is a Kervil the Sparkling Fist. And a fighter and a fighter. Okay, dokie. What are you? A tiefling, apparently. Let me see if we can use a slumber on him. Not yet. Crimson could definitely uh, charge and attack. Done. Nenio. Can you blind the, the guy? I don't think so. Okay. No shit. He just threw um, a kind of electric bolt, uh, electric blast, and I think that this is really dangerous, but Volif is reduced, okay, why? Minus five, okay, wonderful, wonderful. So, land, just hit the, the biggest one, and the fighters can be then dealt uh, in a different way. For example, Sela could try to kill this fighter and of course she's failing fantastic volley do it miss and don't ember 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 now let's try again let's see if this guy sleeps and he does not because yeah whatever move so he is not able to see her the second fighter jumps out and Chrism and uh, Arik, I would suggest that they charge directly uh, Kervil. So in case of spells, it, that should trigger an, an attack of opportunity. This is also going to trigger an attack of opportunity. Therefore, Nenio will now try to use uh, uh, the acrobatics mobility skill, which in her case is uh, plus five. And step back. It worked. It worked. Deactivate it. She cannot. You should have listened no, she to cannot you. use it. Come on, really? Wow. So, Kervil hits Crimson with one strike of this crazy blade. It looks like a shimitar and kills Crimson on the spot. Lan. Oh, he has also concealment, so it's not that simple. Let me charge with Sela or let, let's... I, I don't care if I get an attack of opportunity. Sela needs to go here and engage Kervin. Wonderful. Poor Crimson. Now Volif. Volif can attack this fighter. And Ember can actually put him to sleep. Maybe it will work. We'll save. Bad. Okay, the fighter is targeting now our good friend. Um, Arik needs to stand up. Yeah, I mean, stand up, man. Do I need to do a step? Whatever. We use the light of the angels, just, just in case. Right. It seems that I have lost... What the hell? Why did I lose my... my? What the hell is going on here? 
I think that I lost all my shortcuts for some reason. I probably pushed the wrong button. But the magic missile of Nenio kills the fighter. And now let's see if we can... The man. <laughs> 39 damage. Also, Arik is now down. Let's use a, a perfect strike and hit with our arrows. Okay, it seems that that Kervil was killed. Shit, man, that's really bad. Okay, um, Ember is going to heal everybody. Ah, uh, by the way, now uh, with with Ember, I have the. Okay, I have everything. I, no, not with Nenio. and not with my character, crazy. Sh Okay, I will do them again. Good. Let me check. So what do we find here? We find an helmet. We find a studded leather and a, a book. Nothing else. Here there's not another little bit of loot. Here there's loot again. That should be it. Wow, that was a nice fight. I liked it. Uh, let's check the helmet and everything. So, the armor, the unbending armor. Uh, it's a okay. The so the unbending armor as is a four armor class, but with five max dexterity, and we are carrying actually an armor with three max dexterity, which is basically uh, bringing us down because our dexterity is a four. If I change this, my armor class drops to twenty instead of twenty twenty two. So. It's still valid, but maybe I can give this armor to someone else. Not really. Not really. Let me check now the helmet. The lesser kinetic diadem uh, increases the damage dealt by the kineticist uh, simple energy blast, which is honestly something that we can't use because we, we don't have any kineticist uh, in the group. Pity, but it's like this. Before we continue, I'm going to use the skill healing also on Crimson and, and Auric. Wonderful. And then I have to, uh, again, give my my skills. So, let's pause. I'm going to bring Coupe de Grasse, Charge. Tr treat Affliction is not actually interesting for me. Um, I'm going to use uh, Saddle Up. Uh, maybe Demoralize could be useful and the Light of the Angels. And here the only spell that I need. That's it so far. Maybe we can also use this for the skills. And Nenio. Nenio should use here maybe the Acrobacy. Um, the Ray. And now the spells. And we put everything here because... Yeah, just, just because we have enough space we can put everything here. I think that should be all right. And let's get out of here. Nice to now, now nice to to explore. Nice loot, but probably nothing super useful for this party composition. But definitely a cool fight. Let's go to the dead duelist. I think that this is just loot. It is. And let's go to the Tower of Astral. So this fortified tower of grey stone has long served as a museum archive and research center. Let's have a look. Maybe we find something interesting here. We have ex we have to explore all the surroundings now. Oh, wow, nice. What do we have to do? Canabras burns, the city that should never have fallen. Fate shows no mercy. Clouds might veil the stars, but nothing can hide the light in someone's soul. And I see the light in you. Thank you. We will stand shoulder to shoulder with you against evil. Mm hmm. Interesting. And I hear the echo of a familiar voice. I feel the warmth of my kindred flame. My brother, we will help you. Wonderful. Now they will kill us. It was just a troll. Okay, Arik, um, quickly jump on Crimson. 
There are some portraits. Probably there is a puzzle here and guess what? I can't remember at all about this. Locked from the inside. Let's speak with the visions then. Servants of the Abyss, you enter the house of memory with evil in your souls. Soon you will be but a memory, okay? Here there's nothing behind, here there's nothing, here there's... No, actually there are some paintings. Okay. And here there is a vision. Okay, what, what can I do? Let me get closer. Probably we need to use some... Ah, here! Yeah, I thought that... <laughs> I wasn't sure. Holy fuckson! Hey, stop! Who are you, Crusaders? Well, well, well. I was looking to add a couple of more Crusaders heads to my collection. Why just assume we are Crusaders, though? <laughs> um, see, this says... All right, the tiefling notices the sacred symbol of Ayomede gleaming on the paladin's chest and sighs, I suppose that explains it. Let's intimidate. Disgusting filth, get out of here before I kill you all. It, it fails. I can kill you right now or I can give you a few more minutes of life if you answer my questions. Who are you? You don't like a museum worker. Like a museum worker. And Faxon, servant of Baphomet, the ranking member of the Templars. I think that I should have buffed my party before this uh, battle. I curse your soul, skin you alive, and peace on you while you lie there dying. <laughs> wow, very, very nice person. Okay, what are you doing in the museum? You look awful. What's wrong with your tattoo? <laughs> Lady Minago was displeased with me. She branded me with this rune to make me suffer. Ah, okay. I'm leaving. Of course, I say I'm leaving because I thought that I could save some turns to boost my party, but obviously that was not the case. Uh, Crimson? It's time to sharpen your teeth. Um, and now let me check the enemies. Abricadabra, Faxon, Dretch, Templar of the Ivory, Labyrinth, and Cultist Archer. Well, 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 I get I, I get it. I think... Oh, there is another Templar. I might consider mobility. Oh, I could jump on the other side. This is funny. What can I do if I jump on the other side? Now I'm curious. May I? No, I may not, of course. Let's just move here. Next turn. Um, what if... Could just easily... Peasily... Alright, I have another idea. Use the mirror image on himself, because he's also a little bit uh, damaged, so at least he's gonna help. Nenio, on the other hand, could create a pig. Please, tell me that you managed to do that, Nenio. Please, I beg you. Throw a pit here. Do it, because those guys will fall in the pit when they will move. Yes. And one already one already fell in the pit, right? Okay, Faxon is about to throw a fireball. Where where is where did he go? The Templar doesn't fall in the pit. The archer doesn't fall because uh, he is just too far away. But I get closer. Which is wonderful, because then we can just um, strike with Lan, with Sela, and so on and so on. Ember? Wh where are you? Ember can try to use the slumber on Faxion. Ah, Scheisse! The guy uh, survived, but it would... Yeah, we, we, really, we, we really went close. Let's uh, strike with Lan. Yet yeah. What?! Critical hit, 40 damage with land. That was massive. Fantastic. So the dredge has to... Unfortunately, doesn't work, okay. Sela. Uh, Sela, 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 Sela. So it should just say, fight defensively and go on the first line and keep them blocked. Crimson and Arik now. They have also to fight... Um, let's use this. One. That's it. Volif 
could use some uh, how is it called? Grease centered on Faxon. Okay, unfortunately, they save reflexes, they don't fall down, and then he goes on the first line against the uh, the little demon. Nenio, until Faxon is not protected by any sort of magic, she will throw two magic missiles at him, performing another four damage. So now Faxon can really cast the fireball, I guess, right? Reflex save, that was very stupid because he risked to fall down. Okay, it seems that the it seems that the character of Faxon got bugged for a turn because he went straight under this kind these uh, these columns and then he couldn't strike um he couldn't strike the, the fireball and now it's too late, so well good. Ember Slambero Abricadilu. Lan, now Lan can do again uh, an attack on him. We should do it. Is it too is it too far away? Let's see, move here. Not really. Then we the archer. Okay, Sela uh just uses the Coupe de Grasse on uh, the Abricadilu. It doesn't work. Man, really? Shit, critical hit though. So, no, well, that's not bad. Crimson could get many, many critical hits as well. Let's attack the Archer. Wonderful. And Volif. Let's try it. Doesn't work. Okay, then. Easy peasy. Sneak attack, sneak attack. And now Nenio. Nenio uh, might consider some defense or just to move away from here. I am afraid. I am afraid that he will cast the fireball in the next turn. So, how could we avoid. I mean, we have just to kill this dredge and go down. Nenio is not strictly ne necessary for this battle as she's kind of weak. So, she might just go back and stay here and wait. Because now the fireball will be cast. <laughs> he felt in the pit. <laughs> Guys, if he's supposed to be a boss, I mean, I'm so sorry, but this battle is hilarious. He made all the possible mistakes and then he ridiculously felt in the pit. <laughs> he's trying to cast the fireball in three turns. And it is just failing one attempt after the other. Which is wonderful. Now we go back and we wait for him here. We have this Abricandilu, which is also okay, he's waking up now. Okay, at least we have a we have an enemy. Crimson and Arik uh, uh, attack him. And he falls down again. What if then can uh, actually try to use uh, a mele uh, sorry a ranged attack from here? Okay, failed. Then you can absolutely go back because uh, we have no problem anymore. Let's see if okay. Uh, so the fighter and fa and Faxon are still inside the pit and they are getting damaged by that. Lan should also strike from the distance. Sela can use... Okay, Sela, I don't know why, but uh, for some reason she doesn't have the... Let's do this. Thank you. Good. Good. And now I guess that we have to wait. I think so. Let's let's spread around the the pit so that whatever it happens, a fireball cannot hit all our party members. Okay, let's see. He didn't fall out. Okay, that's 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 so funny. That's really funny. This pit is fantastic. Faxon is out. Also, the, temp the two Templars are out. Okay, okay. The two Templar are, are Templars are, of course, uh, wounded because they've been in the pit for such a long time, which is wonderful. So, Ember 
who tried to use slumber on the strongest one which is, which works fantastic a uh, land from the distance takes a perfect strike and tries to perform it maybe on this guy here oh yes it worked it worked Scylla now should uh, absolutely charge Faxon yes Crimson uh, should charge Faxon together with Ari three hits one is critical only two damage with a critical hit yes because we used our second weapon and that's not the best in the world okay use the um range weapon with wally doesn't work now switch to uh daggers nenio uses the magic missiles once again pam pam five damage and now it's faxon's turn he's using some electric gasp wow that was that that was bad ember uses the scream piercing uh, uh, ear piercing scream and lan please lan deliver and he does he does now Sela can just go here and heal this templar all right let's attack him not easy scout out the to tower of Estro to report to hear a bit about the planned assault okay we did it we did it we did it it was top fantastic um this war must end. let's let's heal Sila and let's have a look at the loot we have a fantastic heavy maze we have some grease and other stuff let's take everything here's there's a, also there's a book a pamphlet depicting a beautiful golem pamphlet okay uh let me read it Hmm. No, no, not sure. Here we can use athletics and mobility, but I don't know what can we do. Push the column, okay. Push the column. I don't think that this is a good idea. Check that out. Okay, here there's a there's a trap. Let's call Voliv to uh, to take care of it. Here we can go to the basement. Okay, we I have the feeling that this is not the end of the tower. This is just the beginning. And actually here we could jump here and there. Aha, uh -huh, you could push also this column and probably throw it on the heads of our uh, enemies. That's probably that's probably the, the big issue, the big reason. Let me check if I can perform here a sort of jump on the other side who who's good with mobility are you good with mobility eight twelve okay we should move what why are you doing it here Come on! <laughs> we jumped on Greece. Yeah, we fell down. I, I don't know. I, I have the feeling that... Shit. I have the feeling that we can... What are you doing, Garrick? Come. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Here's this door. We, uh, we just came from here, so... Uh, entering the doors could be useful let me go to the door no this is here's the door of course where i casted grease please tell me that there is something else to explore before okay here here there's something let's go to the basement okay Let's go to the basement. I need to set the lap Harik again. I'll make my own legend. Is it big? I don't know yet. Okay, let's do one thing, maybe. Rely on me. I wanted to cast Bless, but uh, I forgot that I don't have a cleric now which is which can cast it, so. 
was, was this guy? Telmer. Hey, who are you? <laughs> Praise Baphomet. What are you doing here? Did Faxon send you? I heard the noise outside. Um, what are you doing here? I'm compiling a list of the valuable Crusaders artifact. Lok Sanctir has ordered that everything of use should be transported from Canabras. Okay. Ah, finest thieves in Mendev. Turn you back. And everything that is nailed to the floor will be gone when you turn around again. Where is the custodian? Over in the gallery, I deceived him. I told him I was a crusader. It wasn't difficult. The old key is the result of his mind. So tell me, where's Faxon? Clear off before I kill you. <laughs> He just is just eating some documents. Uh, let's help the pulled wretch. He's choking. <laughs> He's choking with the documents that he tried to swallow. Come on. Okay, we received a masticated letter. Let's have a look at this. A lot of loot here and tell them. Let's speak to him. Which are you, robber or demon? Okay, let's. Uh, we, we are speaking to this librarian, this. Oh, we want some keys. Don't you understand this museum holds things that could help in the fight against demons? All right, good. We have the custodian tell those keys. And now let's tell him to go to the defender's heart and I have to go. So we just have uh, gained uh, a new person at the Defender's Heart. Now we have a look at the loot here, down this, this tower. And I think that we can open the doors. Now using the keys, uh, the keys that we have received. Exactly. And there's a lot of loot here. I mean, it doesn't seem so useful at the moment, but... Oh yeah, we have a chain shirt. Uh, by the way, I'm also interested by these pieces of map. Okay, no, it's just not a real map, honestly. Just Lady Calandra's chain shirt. Armor penalty check zero, maximum dexterity, and mitral plus two. Yes, sir. We can keep this, and I think that this is even lighter. It should give us less encumbrance. Um, so this is a plus two base armor class four and max dexterity six, meaning that when we will boost dexterity of Arik, uh, we will be able to have a higher armor class, which is great. I like it. I like this armor more than the previous one. And I was really considering buying an armor for Arik, but I'll be lucky now. Second room with loot and a lot of tra a lot, a lot, a lot of traps. Let's ask a Wolf to take care of this. I remember in Baldur's Gate 2, that was really wonderful. Uh, if you have, if you had a high trap skill, at least a high enough trap skill, you could steal the trap and reuse them. That was the same also with Neverwinter Nights, if I recall. And I don't know if you guys played this game. If if you did, please send a comment. Tell me in a comment uh, section. But yeah, that was really cool in my opinion. That was really really cool in my opinion. Uh, we just got um, a magic kukri. Uh, I 
I am afraid. <gasps> yeah, I'm afraid that a kukri is not. Yes, it's a kukri, meaning light light weapon. All right, so. Oh, this cold iron kukri is an additional plus two damage against undead creatures. Well, well, well. I mean, uh, let's use it then, because I can definitely have a second magic weapon with Arik. Why not? And then we have also some magic essence, an essence obtained through blah, 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 blah. And we have an entrapping longbow. Okay, so, unfortunately, it's not, uh, it's a longbow. It's not a composite longbow. Um, we would also here give 9 to 16 damage, but whenever this plus one, no, this is a composite longbow. Okay, wonderful. Then we can ask Finian to turn into something else. Whenever this plus one confirms a critical hit, all enemies in 10 foot area must pass a reflexing saving throw or become entangled for one round. It's not so super powerful. Nevertheless, it's not bad either. We could ask Finian to turn into a, a dagger or a short bow or any sort of light. Um, let me check if this uh, if Wolif has any sort of ability related to yes finesse training dagger. He should use daggers. So what I'm what we are going to do is to talk to to Finian and tell him please man turn into a dagger. And now boom. And now our also um, also Wolif as a magic weapon a plus one dagger which we'll use as the first weapon in his right hand. And I think that this was brilliant. And I also think that we have explored the tower, but we still have a door. Which is not opening, kind of. No, it does. I was just I was just waiting for all the, the party members. Good. Let's get out of here. There is another door upstairs before we go home. And we are not going home, we are going to um, uh, do other quests, uh, we are not going back to the Defender's Heart yet. So in the next episode we will see still some exploration and other uh, interesting things. Here there's a door, and I'm going to open it now, and the door brings just outside. Alright, you brought us back to walking, greetings. Why, no, okay, why did you help me? I sense something in you, as if you are close to somehow, like we stood shoulder to shoulder once in the face of evil. Because we are kind of angels, kind of. Who are you? Not who, what? We are memories. This place was created as a cradle of memory and fantasy. All right. So your memories of who? Of the heroes the city wished to immortalize. Huh. Farewell, visions. Farewell. The power that gives us this semblance of life is running out, and soon we will once again be but memories living in words, pictures, and songs. Okay, the visions didn't give me any sort of uh, weapon or experience, whatever. But but it has been it has been cool anyway. So I think I will stop here. It's really nice, and I. Th Thing that we will see each other in the next episode and maybe we will do a level up who knows who knows but so far I'm very happy about this episode because uh, as you can see we earned a lot of mm, learn learned a lot so we have a lot of experience but we have also better equipment and we keep going ladies and gentlemen thank you for watching I'll see you next time